guys, today is Monday, September 26th. It is Max's birthday, my great nephew. And I'm trying to get some stuff done. I threw on my shirt from yesterday because I'm taking a bath here in a little while. So I have cinnamon rolls in the oven. I have all this hamburger. I know I'm making spaghetti meat. So I can vacuum seal it and get it in the freezer. And I know I want some for tacos tomorrow. I thought about making sloppy joes. Jay said make some burger patties. Maybe how much do I even have? What is this? Four and a half pounds and three pounds. <laughs> hmm. I could make four one pound batches of that spaghetti meat. I don't remember if I usually do like a half pound or a full pound. I just cook it up with onions and green peppers and Italian seasoning and garlic powder. And then I just add it into my spaghetti sauce when I make spaghetti. And the other one's three pounds, so I can have a pound for tacos. A pound for this, I thought maybe I'd make this up, this shepherd's pie casserole. It looks really good, look at it. I love shepherd's pie. So I use a pound for tacos, a pound for this. And then I can make up either sloppy joes or burgers. That's four and a half pounds. Oh my gosh. Do we need a pound of spaghetti, or a pound of meat in our spaghetti sauce? Hmm. So I have my scale out over here, and my, a paper plate so I can weigh them out. Okay, hold on. <laughs> my cinnamon rolls are done. I went ahead and preheated the oven for the Shepherd's pie. Look how good. I need to get the icing on. Look at all this hamburger. Oh, getting meals ready ahead of time. Okay, so I got most of the green pepper diced up in there. I'm getting ready to dice up some onion. I'm gonna save some of that for tomorrow for with tacos, but the rest is going in here for hamburger meat. So I haven't even figured everything out yet. Don't mind my dishes. So I have four pounds for spaghetti meat. That'll make eight. That's eight weeks of spaghetti. So two months of spaghetti because I'll use like half pound in with our sauce. I'm going to put a pound in the Ziploc bag and stick it in the fridge to make this this week. I'm going to save a pound for tacos tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest because I still have, what is this? <laughs> That's three pounds and then I have like almost a pound here. Hmm. So I have one pound for that, one for tacos. Jay wants me to make up some burgers, and I don't know. I'll figure it out, I guess. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna dice up some onion and get these going. Uh, my eyes are watering like crazy. This is a strong onion. So I have um green bell pepper and onions just softening up in this pan. I just put some salt and pepper in it. Then when they get a little bit softer, I'll put it in the hamburger meat and the Italian seasoning and the garlic powder. And then I'll save some of this for tacos tomorrow, some of this onion, and then the rest of the onion goes with the can of tomato soup and ketchup for the sloppy joes that we'll have later. And then I'll save a pound for tacos tomorrow and I'll save a pound for the Shepherd's pie. I'm trying to figure out how to divvy up all this hamburger. I don't want it to go bad, that's for sure. If it's if I cook it and then I freeze it, it's fine. But I can't freeze raw meat oh. and then use it. It doesn't taste very good. He's going outside to mow real quick. I think. It's so fun. He took tonight off work to watch the Falcons game. And then we found out two days ago that they're going to Max's birthday party today. Chuck E. Cheese. At like 5.30 or 6, and the game's at 8, so Jay's probably going to leave Chuck E. Cheese early to come home and watch the game, since he took the day off just to watch it, because they're never on TV here. 
But me and Adrian will stay till the party's all the way over. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some stuff done. I divided up my hamburger meat over there. And it fell off my plate. <laughs> That's my spaghetti meat. Which should be going in here pretty soon. I'll check back in. Okay, my spaghetti meat is done. It's just cooling off a little tiny bit. I need to drain it still. So I have my taco meat. This is for eight spaghetti dinners. This is just some leftovers, just hamburger with onion and then salt and pepper and some cheese. I'll just eat that in bread like a loose meat sandwich. Then I have a pound of burger for the shepherd's pie, a pound of burger for tacos, and a pound of burger for sloppy joes. So I got all that done. I need to drain my hamburger though so I can let it cool and then I'll vacuum seal it. And I need to separate this. I need some of this. I'll do a chunk for uh, tacos tomorrow. And the rest of this I will use, actually, this I will use to go in with the sloppy joes. I'm gonna dice this up a little bit finer for tacos. Okay, I got my onions and beef for sloppy joes. Onions and beef for tacos. Beef for that. I normally drain my hamburger into a can or something, but since it's such a big, huge pot of four pounds of burger, I'm just going to drain it in my colander while there's hot water running so the grease doesn't harden in the drain. So yeah, I'm just going to drain my burger. Okay, so the meat is drained. Got Jay working hard, vacuum sealing. Just putting roughly three scoops. Because I mix this in with my sauce that already has like flavor with meat. So yeah, for the three of us, that's good. So yeah, today's on a mission. The vacuum sealer. That's like, that's like the best investment we've ever made. Stuff lasts for like months with no freezer burn. Don't worry, I'm not showing your belly. He has his shirt off because he was mowing. You want him to see your belly? No. <laughs> so he's just putting. I, I don't want to make everybody jealous. I'm ripped. <laughs> We've got seven. We ended up with seven because we just went with three scoops instead of like weighing it out. So we have seven spaghetti meals done. Ready to go in the freezer when they cool. Adri wanted cookies for a snack, so we are going to just make some since they only take 10 minutes. Yes. So then she can just have fresh, warm out of the oven cookies. Yep. And, oven cookies. and you, yep. you, Daddy. <laughs> we only went to Chuck E. Cheese. You've probably already seen the video about Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, we just got home. Yeah. It is 9 o'clock. Well, it's 20 after 9. 20 after 9. So we have just enough time to get a snack and get ready for bed, huh? And I have school tomorrow. I have school tomorrow. Yeah, you do. And Ivy's going to be there, hopefully. Yeah. I, she's going to be there every day I go. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. Let's see, yeah. Bake for 10 to 12 minutes. And I'm gonna watch Teletubbies before school. Yeah, in the morning, that's usually what's on when she's getting ready for school. Yep. At 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Oh my goodness, look at all these cookies. Break them apart. Step one, break the cookies apart. Can you break that? That should be in six. You see where the lines are? That's where you break them. So if you break it in half, uh, and then set one of those down, and then break that into those three squares. That's okay. Yeah. Here, there's one. And two. Hold on, because that's supposed to be three. No, it's a, no, no, no. I'm not just this a little bit. Mm. It's like cookie dough thief. But well, we gotta get them in the. Mm. It tastes good. Okay, you can eat that one. Mm. These aren't breaking apart. It's good. Mm. 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 It's good. They're not the same size either. Oh well. And I don't think we're going to make all of them because this makes a whole bunch. It makes a whole bunch of cookies. How much? I don't know. A lot. Hold on. So we have to spread them out so that they don't so they don't stick to each other. Why is there so many? 
There, we'll just make 12 for today. I'll put those in a baggie, okay? All I smell when I open the fridge is onions. Oh shoot, you and daddy is the last salad bag. Do you think Max had a good birthday? Yeah. It was so fun. I wanted to count all the cookies first. Oh, well, I just need to get these back in the fridge, honey. How many are, in your, how many are you making? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh my goodness. And you wanted milk with your cookies? Yes. Well, maybe Wait. while we're waiting for the oven to heat up, we could go up and get some jammies on. Which one do you think is the longest? I don't know. I don't know either. We can't oh. take too long oh. out of the video because otherwise the battery will die. We can't take too long out of a video, otherwise the battery will die. Yeah, but we can, here, we can, we'll pause our video, see if we got our cookies on the cookie sheet, but the oven needs to preheat, so let's go up and get some jammies on while we're waiting for the oven, okay? Uh, can I have my milk now? Want your milk now? Yeah. Just some white milk. Already sleepy. We've been playing and playing and playing, huh? Yeah, I look my shirt today, Gabriel. Stuffy. Who all was at Max's birthday? Do you remember? Uh, no, not really. Nanny. Nanny. And Nana. Nana. And Grampy. Grampy. And Nikki. And Nikki. And she Dad. pulled up behind beside us today. And Zach. Yeah, and she was right for now. And Zach. Yep. Zach and Brianna mm -hmm. and Dallas was there. Mm -hmm. And Carson's grandpa. Who's Carson's grandpa? Brianna's dad, Chris. I think he calls him Papa. Here, here's your milk. Take a drink of your milk and then we'll go up and get some jammies on while we're waiting for the oven. Mom. Mm -hmm. I took 40 sips of my milk. Wow, that's a lot. Don't drink it all, though. Save some with your cookies. Okay. Okay, let's go get some jammies. Can out. I just have a little taste of that one? Babe. The cookies are done. I already put a couple on a plate for them. I'm not eating them. I don't know. I'm surprised I ate the cinnamon rolls today. Why doesn't he have the purple thing? Hmm. How's your cookies that you made? Good. Um, they good? Mm. I see a belly hanging out. <laughs> They're so yummy. Eating some cookies, she has some milk, watching Family Fun Pack. Jay's still watching the Falcons. I'm getting ready to edit. I haven't posted videos in days. I've been so busy. Ugh. I need to get some work done real quick.